Hey people, welcome to the Run Testers. It's Kieran here. I am at Battersea Power Station on my feet. I have got the brand new Ultra Forward Experience. These are the first drop shoes that Ultra has made. Obviously Ultra famous for doing zero drop or balance cushioning is what they call it. These are the first time that they have gone off piste with that and they've put a drop in a pair of shoes. I've got them on my feet. I'm going to take them for a first run along the River Thames and see how we get on. Let's go and have a look. So some quick details then, when it comes to stack height, the Ultra Forward Experience packs 32 28mm stack in the men's and a 30 26mm stack in the women's for a 4mm drop. That's the headline here, this is Ultra's first shoe that steps away from zero drop. Weight wise, the Forward Experience come in at 8.9 ounces or 252 grams in our UK men's 8.5 test size. So that's a good chunk lighter than something like the Ultra Via Olympus for example. On price, the Ultra Forward Experience comes in at £150 in the UK or $140 in the US. Let's give you a really quick shoe whip round then, starting with the uppers. There's an engineered mesh upper here that's pretty thick and dense with no overlays. You've got Ultra's trademark kind of toe box shaping that remains here. You've got a medium padded tongue and heel collar with some extra pads on the inside that hold the base of the heel nice and firm. The midsole uses compression molded EVA foam. That's somewhere between semi-firm and semi-soft. So you don't get Ultra's lively Ego, Ego Max or Ego Pro foams here. And there's a rocker here also to help with toe offs. Flip them over and on the outsole you've got a decent covering of outsole rubber. You've also got Ultra's Innerflex groove system here that you can see. These flexes are designed to move with your foot and toes on landing to help for a more natural feel. So I've just finished my first run in the Ultra Forward Experience. I did 10 miles, about 90 minutes. So very, very low and slow pace. Took it nice and easy. Nice run along the river here in the UK. Now the Ultra Forward Experience on feet. I think it's really interesting that Ultra have decided to make that jump from their balanced cushioning, what they call balanced cushioning zero drop into a small drop shoe. You've got a four mil drop on these shoes, but you also still have Ultra's trademark foot shape up the front. That toe box still sweeps along in the shape of your toe, so follows the natural shape of the foot. What that means is the instant stepping comfort on these shoes is pretty familiar in terms of Ultra's overall comfort. It's a nice roomy toe box, although not maybe the roomiest I've found on Ultra's, but it's still plenty roomy, lots of wiggle room, and it feels nice and airy and nice and natural. The cushioning overall, the padding, the tongues and the heel collars, and that stepping comfort is good, feels nice and natural, nice and balanced. The footbed feels soft, but not too soft and then you get into that midsole ride. Now, one thing I was expecting maybe was this to be a lot softer than it is. This still rides kind of firm, and I would say if you're familiar with the kind of ultra level of kind of firmness, then I think this, for me, feels like it's in keeping with something that ultra does there. So what you're getting really is a landing that is soft, but not really soft and squishy. It's protected, but you can still feel the ground a little bit coming up. Now, what that meant over those miles long and slow. I don't know whether I've got particularly sort of tired legs. I did an all-out mile yesterday and I wasn't feeling particularly loose and free today. Everything felt a bit sore but I did feel a little bit of fatigue in the legs coming up into the last few miles. That, that might be me, that might be the shoe. Yeah but it's, it's notable that you're getting a kind of slightly firmer ride. If I'm putting my hat I'm thinking something like the Cloud Monster you know it's got that there's a softness but it's also just not soft and squishy like a Nova Blast or something like that. It's a bit more to the firm end of the scale. Now the other thing you've got in play here is a rocker. I didn't find that that was adding too much roll. It wasn't too noticeable. It's there but it's not as pronounced I don't think as some shoes that I've run in. Uh, but it does sort of help a little bit for you to clip through. Stability overall on these shoes I found really good. Nice and wide base to run off all the way along the back of the heel. There's a decent platform in the front of the shoe to land on to roll through. The other thing, overall these shoes, you know, when you look at them, they're sort of fairly big, really, grand scheme of things, but they actually run quite light. There is more, I think, than a touch of Hoka here. And we've seen loads of shoes, the Hokerization of all shoes. I think these are moving along that way. You know, if you took away that funny toe box, you might actually kind of feel, uh, yeah, these, these look like kind of some of the Hokers that we've seen coming out in the last few years. What's also interesting here is, you know, the uppers, there's not too many overlays on the uppers, but they are quite dense. I didn't find them hot. I've got quite thick socks on today. I feel sort of fairly breathable. I think that's partly because of the room that you've got in there. And I feel the hold across the top of the midfoot really good. That lockdown was good. Heels, no slipping. So overall that comfort on the foot was really good.
So quick first run impressions after that 10 miles, 90 minutes on feet. I think these are a good shoot. Really comfortable, great step in comfort. I think they're just soft enough to take the edge off. They clip along really nicely, just about right. There's just, you know, there's enough rockering there to sort of help you clip along. Now for this kind of run that I did, that, that easy, low and slow, very ploddy, I think this is how I think these shoes are gonna perform best. I didn't take them up through the gears, but to me that feels like it's gonna be their sweet spot. And they were perfectly good from that. You know, one of the shoes that I feel like they remind me of was like a Salomon Aeroglide, or I don't know, like a, maybe it's not right, not a speed goat, but it kind of had that sort of sensation, but for the road. And yeah, I actually have really enjoyed those early miles in them. Interested to do more tests, and I'll probably do a little bit of a wrap back in the office just to summarize any more thoughts I have. Um, because I'm a little bit tired now and uh, I need to go and get a shower. So having had a bit of time to mull over that first run, my instinct here is that the forward experience is gonna shape up as a solid, fairly versatile daily trainer. That's probably better at the lower pace ranges than the upper. It's definitely not anywhere near as lively or as sprightly as a lot of your super daily trainers, like the Speed 3 and so on. It's not as soft and cushioned as things like the Asics Gel Nimbus 25. It's sitting somewhere in between, but it's got good comfort and a certain sprightliness to it that's balanced and I think happy for cruising around in disappearing comfort. There's good stability and reliability underfoot as well on landings and the ultra roomy toe box feel is very much still here, even if that zero drop isn't. And overall, this has been a shoe that I ran well in, I enjoyed running in it and I'm looking forward to doing some more miles in it rather than one that I'm not. So that is a good start. We will have more testing to do and we'll bring you a full review in due course. So there you have it. That's been my first run in the Ultra Forward experience. I hope it's been useful. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified when the full review lands. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure to chat to you and we hope to see you again soon on the run testers. Happy running, everyone. Good luck with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve out there.